Hey, this is Mini Mate Master, and on today's mini, we'll be taking a look at the first box set in the th wave of Thor Mini Mates, Thor and Destroyer. Let's start this review off like we always do and take a look at the packaging. Now what we have is a nice uh, picture of Thor and Destroyer down there at the bottom. Thor has his uh, helmet in the picture, but he's not actually packaged with the helmet on. Um, he does come with a helmet, but just not on him. Um, at the top of the box, you got Mini Mates, Marvel, Marvel Studios Thor, and the big uh, bold letters, and the Mighty Avenger. Um, at the top, Avengers Assemble with Iron Man, Thor, and Captain America. Uh, on this side, you have a nice picture of the Thor Mini Mate, and Destroyer on this side. Uh, on the back, you have a picture of all the characters in the Toys R Us wave. Um, you have Thor, Odin, Loki, uh, Battle Loki. No, 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 that's, um, sorry. Uh, Odin as Guardian Guard. Uh, Loki, and you have Volsag, Sif, Destroyer, and Civilian Thor. Um, you got bios on the characters down there at the bottom, of course. Um, and as for the box, um, it has a nice blue, um, purple, looks sort of like a astrological, uh, map or whatnot, um, uh, maybe has Guardian, uh, I don't know, Architects or whatever, um, but kind of looks like constellations with stars and solar systems and whatnot. Um, anyway, that's the packaging. Let's get this opened up and take a look at Thor. Now here is the Thor Mini Mate, and I must say he is rather fantastic. Um, this is a really nice looking figure. Um, you have these custom gauntlets that he comes with. Uh, flesh on the outside for the fingers, a uh, red band around it. Uh, a little re uh, red on the lower parts of it, and a uh, nice black. Um, goes on the arms, which are a nice silver color, solid, uh, very nice paint apps with the scaling uh, for the armor, sort of along the arm there. Torso, really nicely detailed um, with the design for the armor. Um, you know, the blue and the silver in there, uh, along with the silver uh, buttons or uh, whatever you want to call them on his uh, chest armor. And then he's got this uh, unique uh, crotch over piece, um, sort of like the small skirt piece or like sh shirt overlap piece um just really nice custom um you know with the blue and then the two other silver buttons on there and the legs are also nicely detailed as well they got some uh light gray or uh silver detailing on there with some red stripes on it along the sides um so that back on and uh thor's got a nice cape uh nice bright red with the wrinkles and uh, whatnot sculpted onto it um, which is removable along with the top two with silver buttons. Um, the face is really nicely detailed. It's got the facial hair, uh, the eyes, and a really nice hair piece, which I don't think I've seen before. Um, all in all, a really great figure standing by itself. But Thor c does come with really two really essential accessories. Um, first of which is his Mjolnir. Uh, silver, a um, you know, brown handle, and the thong at the bottom. Um... There's also some really nice detailing, uh, cracks, um, just really nice detail, um, that went into the sculpting of the head of the hammer. Um, the paint goes a little bit over onto the brown, a little silver, but, um, it looks alright, um, it can still look pretty natural. Um, and he holds it well, uh, you know, not falling out or slipping around or anything. So you have Thor with his hammer there. Um, the other accessory is his helmet, which I believe he'll only be using for battle, um, it would appear. Um, really nicely detailed again. Um, it's got the big wings on the side. Um, and it's a really nice silver. Um, and if you just remove the... Oops. Uh, just remove the hair piece there. Uh, the helmet goes on. Uh, however, it does not press down all the way uh, as it does in the picture. Um, I was just surprised how low, or how low it didn't go. It, remained pretty high on the head but it still looks nice um, when he has his hammer um, and there you have Thor in all of his glory so next let's take a look at the destroyer here's the destroyer mini mate um, and right off the bat uh, a bit more sizable than the Thor mini mate um, due to the crotch piece um, severely bulked up um, you know crotch piece the chest over piece and uh, the accessory on the head gives him uh, a bit more height, um, but uh, not any ex no accessories with this figure. Um, 
but he is nicely detailed. Uh, he's got the lines across his chest, uh, front of his legs, um, and his arms, uh, as well as scratch in the face. Uh, you can see the detailing on the side is uh, gives the appearance of spikes uh, on the arms and as well as the legs. Um, some detailing with the black on the back and the front uh, gives it some dimension, which is nice, and uh, the detailing on the front. Um, yeah, just a plain silver uh, all across the whole figure, um, and the face doesn't look that good to me. Um, it just doesn't really look right. It doesn't look too natural. Um, there's a giant robot. It doesn't shouldn't look natural, but uh, you know what I mean. Um, but it does have like one uh, piece on his head. Um, I don't want to try to remove it. Um, you can remove it like this. Um, and it just pegs it in the top to give it that, uh, give the Destroyer's brow a piece. Um, and I, I had to take it off right when I got it just, uh, to recenter it. Um, but you got that. Um, one thing I might have liked is if they made the head like a translucent orange. So when the light hit it, it made the eyes look like they're glowing, much like the Ultron figure. But, um, I don't know, Destroyer is a neat figure, although he is basic. So, that concludes this first box set of the Thor Mini Mate reviews. Stay tuned for more. This is the Mini Mate Master, and I'll see you next time. Peace!